Hollywood stars, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create this beautiful, beautiful habanero spicy mommy hot tamale makeup look. I love the way this look came out. So if you wanna know how to achieve this makeup look, then just keep watching. And as always, don't forget to shine bright because it's slow Hollywood time. <laughs> Alright you guys, so today we're going to go ahead and start with primer and today we are using the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. This is a little, um, the little guy that I got um, a while ago and it still lasts me a pretty long time so we're just going to be using this one today. So when it comes to primer, I really like to work it into the skin. I feel like that gives you the best results. So definitely take your time with the primer. For foundation, I'm going to be using my little sample right here. This is um, the Studio Fix by MAC in NW15. So I kind of like to just paint it on first. And then we'll go back and blend it with a beauty blender. For concealer, I'm also going to be using a little sample that I have here. This is also by MAC. And this is the Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. So I'm basically just kind of painting it on where I would normally do my concealer. So just underneath the eyes and on the sides of the nose. And then I'm also going to add a little bit here to the bridge, just like that. Perfect. This concealer is definitely giving me a little bit more of like natural look, not too highlighted, which is fine. But we're going to go ahead and set it with the Huda Beauty Pound Cake Powder. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and bronze with this palette by Kylie Cosmetics. This is the Coco Collection Face Palette. And I'm just gonna take the bronzer right here and just start to bronze up my skin. For today's palette, we are going to be using this one by MAC. This is the Flamboyant palette. It's so, so pretty. You get 12 shades, and I just love this palette. It looks amazing, and it works amazing. I'm going to go ahead and take this shade right here, and we're just going to pop this right into the crease as a transition shade. Okay, perfect. So now I'm gonna to start to warm it up a little bit. So I'm gonna be taking this orange shade right here. And I'm using the same brush. My mirror is so dirty. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that first shade we used. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop it right up here. I'm gonna deepen it up even more and use this darker orange shade. Same brush. And once again, start from the outer corner. Work it there for a moment. Swirl it, little circular motions, and then slowly start to bring it closer to the center. I'm gonna take a clean brush and just work it up here so that everything is nice and blended and it's not looking harsh. 
I'm gonna take a flat brush, and this is just a Sonia Kashuk brush, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and dig into this beautiful shimmery red shade. This one's very buttery as well. And I'm using more of a synthetic brush because I feel like it will pick up the color a little bit better. So I'm gonna be adding this right here. I'm gonna take that clean brush and just soften up the edges of here. I'm gonna take that first brush. That, by the way, this is the JS6. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and dig into this deep burgundy shade. And basically add it right here in the outer corners. And then with that clean brush, just kind of soften up this right here. I'm gonna take my little pointer brush. Um, this is the Morphe M578 brush. And I'm gonna go into this beautiful iridescent like white gold shade. And we're just gonna pop this right here in the inner corner and drag it up. I'm gonna also add this shade right here in the very inner corner of the eye just so that everything connects. And then just take your clean brush and kind of merge these two colors right here so that it doesn't look weird. Okay, perfect. So now I'm gonna take the pointer brush again, get a little bit more of the shade, and just add it right here into the brow bone ever so slightly. Make sure you also kind of dust off that clean brush because um, it can get a little bit stained from the other colors. And then once it's clean, just blend this out. Ooh, it looks so good. Perfect. Okay, we're pretty much almost done with this look. I love the way it's turning out. So I'm gonna take the pointer brush one more time and we're gonna be working on the lower lash line but I think I wanna add some black to my waterline. So this is the Infallible by L'Oreal. So we're gonna pop this right into the waterline. So I'm gonna take that burgundy shade that we used, the last one, and I'm putting this in the pointer brush and just a little bit off and then work it right under this lower lash line. Make sure you dust off this brush that we used um, and then I'm going to go into this lighter orange shade and I'm just going to put this right underneath this burgundy just so that everything can flow nicely. Ooh, I love the way this looks. It looks so good. Okay, I'm just going to blend it on here a little bit. But yeah, it looks stunning. Okay, perfect. So let me go ahead and dust this off. So for some reason, I want my blush to be like really pink. So I'm gonna be using this one by MAC. This is in the shade Love Cloud. And I'm just gonna be using my favorite brush right now at the moment for blush. It's this one. And this one is by Morphe. This is the R14 brush. I'm gonna take my hula bronzer just to kind of contour the nose a little bit. I'm gonna intensify the contour, so I'm gonna use a little bit more of hula. So for highlight, I think I'm actually gonna use this shade right here in the palette because I really like the way it looks. So I'm taking my highlighting brush and I'm basically just dipping in here. And I'm gonna take it a step further and I'm also gonna wet my brush just to intensify it. And we're just gonna pop it on. Holy moly, that's, that's freaking bright, okay. 
Huh. Oh my god, this looks so freaking nice. Like, wow. You do have to be careful a little bit with how much you spray because if you spray too much, it can be a little bit hard to blend after, but we're just gonna work with it because it looks really good and really blinding. Like, holy moly guacamole. This is stunning. I'm gonna take my um, blush brush that we used and just kind of like work it in a little bit right here. So I basically dipped my brush again in that shade. I spritzed it with a little bit of Fix Plus and then I popped it in in a corner because I really wanted it to pop and wow, it looks so good. And then whatever it's um, left over on the brush, I'm just kind of adding it to my nose and to the Cupid's bow. Okay, so we're almost done with the look, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and pop some mascara. I'm going to use this one by Benefit. It's a roller lash. Okay, and then for the lips, I'm going to be using the Lady Danger by MAC. I'm like obsessed with this lipstick. I've been using it like nonstop. It's so bomb. Ooh, look how fiery that is. Bomb. Alright you guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. I really, really like it. I feel like I'm going to call it like spicy habanero or something because it's so, so like fiery. And also, by the way, I did add some lashes. Um, these are just the 35 stacked there by MAC. And yeah, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed the look. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already. That way you can be part of this Hollywood star family. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.